Welcome back to another VBA tutorial. So in today's video, we're going to be covering a special topic. Um, this particular topic can actually be used across pretty much all the Office applications where you have access to the Visual Basic Editor. More specifically, we're going to be covering the topic of command bars and command bar control objects. And so you might be wondering, what is a command bar? Well, they come in a couple different flavors, but generally speaking, say for example, I was to right click my cell. You see these black pane right here and this black pane over here? Those are considered command bars. And so a command bar is basically a collection of individual command bar controls. Basically, they're the little buttons that exist inside the pane. Now, if you want to be able to manipulate these panes, or even in some cases, create your own customizable panes, you can do that from inside of VBA. If you also want to take existing command bars and modify them to maybe incorporate a macro, a custom macro that you might have developed, then you can also do that as well. Additionally, it's actually one of the few ways we can easily, and I say easily because there's technically more complicated ways to do this, but one of the easier ways to manipulate uh, the ribbon bar. Now, you can manipulate the ribbon bar, but it's in a very limited fashion. And so basically what you can do is you can add a command bar, so you can create your own custom command bar. You can add a control, so maybe you wanna you know, just add a copy control, for example, something simple. Um, and you wanna add that command bar to the Excel ribbon. You can, but it's always gonna fall under the same tab and that is the add-ins tab. So it does give you the ability, if you wanted to, to manipulate the ribbon, but it's in a very, very specific fashion. Now, throughout this tutorial, we're gonna be working with different types of command bars and different type of command bar controls. The command bar controls is gonna basically be reserved for uh, video two. But just to kind of give you an idea of the different types of command bars and command bar controls, at least for command bars, there's three types. There's a shortcut menu. Uh, there's also this other one called default command bar. Well, that's just kind of like the normal type. And then there's a menu bar. Uh, really, for this one, the shortcut menu is the pop-up. So that's basically what you're, you're kind of seeing right here. Uh, a menu bar, I believe, is basically what you're seeing up here. And then also your default command bar I don't really know necessarily what that is, but it is there. We're gonna actually be kind of dumping out all the different command bar options here in Excel, um, and then we can kind of explore. But you'll see that a big chunk of them are basically menu bars, and then the other big chunk of them are considered, uh, what is it? Just regular you know, default command bars. So not a crazy ton of them, but they do exist. And then there's also like these special ones up here that are of type one. And so these ones are kind of like the more, I would say boring ones if you wanted to consider it like that. So that's just kind of a high level of what we're gonna be covering today. Um, we're also gonna be walking through some documentation as well. And so we'll be going over like the, you know, the command bar types. So this is kind of what I was talking about before. Um, we're also going to be talking about uh, if you want to, you know, first row or last row, position, um, and even control types. There's definitely more control types than there are command bar types, but uh, we're not going to be going through all of them, unfortunately. All right. So with that being said, let's jump in to the VBA editor. All right. So first thing we want to do is we want to create a new subroutine. We'll call it Exploring Command Bars. And for me, I'm just gonna have a two at the end because I do have another module that is also called exploring command bars. So first thing is we're gonna declare our object variables. The first one is gonna be called command bar collection and you guessed it. It is a collection of all the command bars inside any given application. So each application can technically have a different number of command bars because you know, there might be different types of functionality, for example, but you, know, you shouldn't assume that every application has the same number of command bars. And then we're gonna wanna work with a single command bar and we'll just give that the name command bar item. And that will just be our command bar object. So one without the S. So from here, we wanna grab our command bar 
collection. Where does that exist? It exists at the application level. So let's grab the command bar collection for the Excel application. So we will set our command bar collection equal to our application and then we will call the command bars property and this returns the collection of all the command bars inside the Excel application. Now you might want to ask the question, how many command bars are there in the Excel application? This is how you would do it. And we'll make it a little bit fancy, right? We'll make it where it's, you know, easy to read. And also we'll do a debug print command. There are space plus, we're going to call the convert string function because we're going to be passing through a command bar collection count and that will return an integer. So we want the count property. And then we're going to do another plus because we're concatenating a string. What is going on? Okay, there we go. Sorry. Um, and then we need to put the other one. There are blank command bar objects in the Excel application. So nothing fancy, just printing out some stuff for us to read. So that might surprise you. There's actually 182 command bar objects inside the Excel application. So that's actually a lot. So what if we want to just, for example, loop through each one of these uh, command bar objects, right? So, you know, how would we do that? Well, it's pretty straightforward. So loop through all the command bar objects. So we're going to say for each, so it's a for each loop, command bar item in command bar collection, so the collection itself, and then we'll do our next. What is this one? <clears throat> if visible, oh yeah, that's the one. So at this point, I'm going to take some code that I already kind of wrote up, uh, just because it's it saves us a little bit more time, and I really don't want to kind of retype everything, I'll kind of just more explain it to you guys as you're kind of looking at it. Um, but for the most part, it's exactly the same. And so I, this is basically what's going to be going on GitHub. Uh, and then we'll put that there. And then I'm picky. We will put that back here. Woo! And then I also want another uh, it's not going to really matter because there's so many, so it's not going to really show you anything beyond like the last 10. But basically, all I'm doing is I'm taking each command bar item and I'm basically just grabbing some information about it. So it's things like, hey, what's the name of it? Um, give me the type. And so this returns just a number, the position of it, um, whether it's um, visible or not. So that is a property that you can see. There's also some other properties that you can look at as well. So for example, you can see the application it belongs to. So that's gonna return Excel built-in. So whether it's a built-in command or it's customized. So for example, if I make my own, then it's considered customized. So built-in would ret return false. Context, controls. I don't know what context, I'll have to read that one again. Controls is basically all the controls inside that particular um, command bar. Creator is you know, kind of obvious who created it. You can delete command bars. Uh, I wouldn't do that with a built-in one, but you can do that with a customizable one. You can see whether it's enabled or not. So some by default on, are not enabled, so they might just be from older versions of Excel. You can see the height. You can find the control. Um, that's basically like a method. You can get the index. So if you were trying to just grab a specific one in the collection, you can just grab its index. Left, name, name local. These two are pretty much the same from what I've been able to see. Um, parent, that didn't really return anything. Position, so the position inside the command uh, bar collection, I believe. Um, protection, so you can actually put protections on uh, each command bar, so whether you want people to be able to customize them or not. You can reset it back to the default, so that's the reset method. Row index, you can actually show a command bar, so it'll pop it up. That's uh, very specific though. It's only with a particular type of command bar. You can see if it's visible, type with, so just a bunch of other stuff. 
Again, it, it's going to be in the documentation that I provide. Uh, for most part, the command bar, it's more just describing it. There's not really a lot you do with it per se. And so if we run this, you can see there's a ton. Um, basically here, you can see like, oh, there's a status bar. It's got a, a type of zero. The position is three. Um, what is it? It's visible and it has a built-in status of true. Basically what I did is I dumped it into my Excel workbook and I'll also be providing some code that will also dump it for you. Um, but you can see like there's a lot of stuff here like text to speech, um, cells. Some actually appear twice. So it, I'm not really sure what the difference is per se, but it's there if you need it. <laughs> you can see things like the formula bar, form, uh, the format axis, uh, some are very specific uh, and are related more towards like specific objects. So like pivot chart pop up, uh, paste special drop down. Uh, I I think that would technically be this one. If I remember, I can't remember entirely. There's just a lot, so I haven't had a chance to go through all of them per se. But you know, I encourage you play around with it a little bit, see what's out there. You know, some of these might be of use to you. I will kind of give an FYI though. I uh, actually have a another one here that is not working. So this is where I actually tried to modify an existing one. So like basically a built-in one. Um, for whatever reason, the built-in ones will not let you change the visible property and I haven't been able to find out why. And if you can't change the visible property, you can't do certain things with it. So you can't use like the set focus parameter or things like that, it just, it won't let you do it. And even things like um, just showing the pop-up, it, it won't actually let you show it as well. So there's kind of some challenges. I think that's just unfortunately VBA itself. I'm sure some of these are just bugs that were kind of never worked out and they're probably never gonna be worked out just because VBA is old and Microsoft doesn't really wanna deal with it anymore. But at this point, hopefully you feel comfortable enough to kind of start, you know, looping through the command bar collection. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna actually like take um, an individual command bar and we're gonna display it. So we're gonna actually have it pop up to us. So we're gonna create a new subroutine. We'll say sub display command bar. Ugh, no, not an R like that. And so for the most part, we can take this uh, section of code because it's identical. So we've got our command bar collection. In this particular example though, I don't want the entire collection, I just want a specific item from that collection. And in this particular example, we're gonna be grabbing the command bar that exists at index 38. That one is the cell command bar. So this is one that probably will see look very familiar with a lot of people. So let's grab the cell command bar which has an index of 38. So we're gonna set our command bar item, because now we're working with an individual one, and we're gonna call our command bar collection. We're gonna call the item property, and then we're gonna do 38. So uh, the cell command bar has an index of 38. And then from here, we can go on to the next one. And so this is gonna be really simple for the most part, um, but there is a big, big caveat to this. What I'm about to do can only be applied to a command bar that is of the type pop-up. So if it is not MSO bar pop-up, you cannot use this method. So what we're gonna do is this will show the pop-up at the coordinates we specify. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my command bar item, I'm gonna do the show pop-up method. There's an X parameter, and I just put it some default values of like 200. It's like in the corner a little bit. There's Y, which is another 200, and that's it. So for the most part, it's really simple, but there's a big old caveat, which is it has to be a command bar pop-up. And I make a note of that. Where is it? Oh, that's the wrong one. 
that's for the next one. Um, it's right here. I make a big old note for everyone. It has to be a pop-up. So when you do this, this is basically what it looks like. So pretty basic stuff, um, nothing super crazy at this point. There's technically a method called set focus where you could grab a specific control from this command bar and you can basically like automatically have the mouse go towards it. But for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to work. Um, I guess I could try it right now because technically I've never done it on my personal computer. I tried it on my work computer, but nothing happened. Yeah, so that's kind of interesting and give me a different error this time. Hmm, interesting. I wonder, I wonder, maybe it would. Sorry, this kind of like sparked my interest. You're gonna have to bear with me a little bit. Oh, okay, interesting. Well, that's kind of weird. Hmm. Well, I, you know, this is kind of interesting. So this is basically the error I encountered the first time, which was when I tried to actually change the visible property, it just completely said you can't do it. And I suspected something was up because if you look at the protection attribute, it's actually number 22. And if you go to the Microsoft documentation, there's nothing in there that has um, 22 in it. And so I'm thinking this is like some kind of special one that Microsoft builds into the default ones, but you'll notice there's no protection 22. And so it won't even like, it won't even let me change the protection status of it because I tried initially changing the protection to zero, but it didn't let me do it. So I'm thinking this is something that's built in with Excel. Like there's just certain ones you can't change, but then there's other ones like if it's, you know, customized, for example, you could change it. And I kind of get that because they probably don't want people, you know, screwing up Excel and then like, oh, you know, you messed it up. So they're probably just like, we're not even going to give you access to it because we don't even want to go down that road. So with that being said, though, that actually does complete this tutorial. It hopefully it was, you know, pretty quick for the most part, but it was kind of just getting us familiar with it. And then in the next video, what we're going to be doing is actually working with the controls that exist in a command bar. And then we're going to do things like create our own customizable, um, you know, command bars for the most part. So if you have any questions, you know, please put them down in the comments below. Also, if you could, please make sure to like the video. We always appreciate the support. And if you're not already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel so that way you get regular updates as we release new videos. We're going to be coming out with lots of fun topics. Um, <clears throat> I'm starting to go a little bit more detail with some of the VBA stuff. I'm trying to look at more of the advanced topics and if there's even things we can cover in it because sometimes we can, but sometimes we can't. And sometimes it's just easier to not go down that path. But yeah, there, there's some other stuff coming. Um, I think connection strings are going to be something big. I'm going to be showing you like how to connect to workbooks and all this kind of like other stuff, like just using VBA and then like having those connections be referenced and things like pivot tables and, um, what is it like tables and, and stuff like that. So pretty cool stuff. I mean, I don't know how much real application there would be behind it, but that's kind of coming up classes. We're going to talk about class objects. That's another one. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it for the most part. That's kind of at least I would say like the more close upcoming stuff. So yeah, definitely some more stuff coming down the road. Thanks again for watching everybody. We will see you in video two where we talk about command bar controls.